Hey Nikita. Hi. I was just practicing if I've still got the twirls and you know just feeling the red carpet all over again. Um hi everyone. I'm Nikita Danwani, Femina Miss India Andhra Pradesh 2019 and your host today for the South Zonal Auditions at Femina Miss India 2023. It's been 4 years since we've seen this red carpet. It brings back so many memories. The Miss India banner behind me. I can't wait for the auditions to begin and it just had that wave of nostalgia hit me because that's clearly happening here. and all of the contestants here i've met them right now and they're so gorgeous so beautiful the energy is so infectious in the room i wish you guys could feel the energy here we also have a lot of supportive parents as well who come here to support their daughters their nieces and family members and it's just all very heartwarming to see so there's a lot of fun planned ahead for the day so i want you guys to stay tuned because we're going to have some really interesting conversations with the contestants and come let's see what they're doing So we are here at the South Zone auditions at Bangalore. Girls, how's the josh? Hi. And what are we? Nikita. So we are really excited for the day and we love the energy of these girls so I'll take you guys throughout the day. Hi everyone. So we are at the South Zonal auditions of Femina Miss India and I see a lot of parents here and hame pata hai ki parents ka role bhi bahut important hota hai ek aspirant ki journey mein. So let's talk to a few parents and get to know what their thoughts are and how are they feeling today. Hello, hello, Mr. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, आपको आज कैसा लग रहा है कि आपकी बेटी यहाँ पे कम्पीट कर रही है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है आप क्या मैसेज देना चाहोगे Right now, and 
the nerves are just kicking in. We're about to begin with the audition, and we have a lot of contestants getting ready in the hair and makeup center. We have Kanaka lined up over there. There's such a big crowd. We are so overwhelmed with the response from the South Zone. Let's actually talk to a couple of contestants. Hi. Where are you guys competing from? Tamil Nadu. And how are you feeling right now? Good. Excited. Are you waiting for your makeup touch up? Yeah. All right. And what advice would you give to other contestants? Probably just be yourself. Yeah. Keep a positive Have mindset. The boys. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're Thank loving you. the energy here, and I'll keep you updated on what next. with me four contestants from the state of Kerala so we're going to get to know some fun facts about Kerala so let's start with Durga Durga can you help me uh, promote the cuisine of Kerala and tell us about 10 food items from Kerala in 10 seconds Kerala satya kappa green curry chapati we say any, any rice items and manga pickles done yeah time is up Have a so the next question is for Iris. Iris, why do you want to win Miss India? Win Miss India because I think that I can bring a positive impact in other girls' life too, like me, ordinary girls like me. Spoken like a true queen. The next question is for Nidesha. My question for you is, tell us 10 places that you would like for me to visit in Kerala. Okay. A card, uh, that to Manambula. Uh, Kota Maidana, Kava, and Rishu, uh, Kozapura, and Ernakula, uh, Kotkochi, Joandra, Kollam, Kasakor, <laughs> Amazing. So I have my itinerary set for my next trip to Kerala. And the last question is, how do you think the finale is going to happen in Manipur? What are your thoughts on it? Finale is going to be great in Manipur. I guess Manipur will be a place rich in heritage, culture. I'm going to enjoy each and every moment in Manipur. Thank you. Beautiful. So we are going to see all of you in Manipur in April at the Femina Miss India finale. <laughs> We have the Telangana state contestants ready to go onto the ramp. So let's hear how they're feeling right now. How are you feeling? I'm thrilled and absolutely ready to give my best. Oh, I love that positive energy. What about you? It's a new challenge. Yeah. Bit nervous and excited. I wish you the very best of luck and just use the nerves to perform even better. Can't wait to go on the stage. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I am thrilled, super thrilled. I'm, I was just waiting for this moment and finally just here. Yeah. South Zone has some really good energy, don't you think? Hi, uh, Miss India has been a dream and uh, I feel nothing but gratitude at this point and yeah, I'm eagerly looking forward to our uh, ramp walk. That's some really beautiful advice. How are you feeling? I am just manifest manifesting for the best to happen and let's hope for this. Wow, I am getting very inspired as I look out this year. I'm super pumped, looking to put, put my best foot forward. I had a really really fun time dancing with the contestants. It also helps calm down their nerves and it gives me a chance to shake a leg or two because I think it's only Miss India organization that can make me dance. They did it in 2019 and they've done it again four years later.
And the moment that we've all been waiting for. Bye. Namaskaram viewers, I have with me four contestants right now who are about to show us what their winning moment expression is going to be because you have to see that the crown is on the stage and when we manifest that moment, we also have a vision in our mind and we have a face expression. So let's see what these contestants have in mind. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Sarah and I am here to show you the winning moment